Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Hatcher from Olive Branch Park Veterinary Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about rosy boas. At their adult length, they can be two to four feet long, with the females being longer than the males. Their enclosure temperature range should be about 78 degrees Fahrenheit at the cool side and 85 degrees Fahrenheit at the warm side. And at night, it shouldn't drop below 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity should be at 60%. Their activity is dependent upon the season, but they're mainly crepuscular, which means most active at dawn and dusk. Their lifespan can be 20 years or more. For their enclosure, 10 gallon aquariums will work fine for juveniles, and you'll need 20 to 30 gallon aquarium for adults. For this species, floor space is more important than height. They are known burrowers. They are also crevice dwellers, and they appreciate secure hiding spaces. Keep a secure, well-ventilated lid to prevent escapes and to keep the humidity low. The equipment you will need is a UVB light. The use of this is questionable, but since they are crepuscular, I do recommend it. And you'll want to change your bulb every six months. You'll need a small water bowl at the cool side of the tank to prevent too much evaporation. These, this species is very sensitive to humidity and it needs to be kept below, um, low at, below 60% at all times. For a substrate, sand can be used as well as aspen shavings and carefresh. Provide deep enough bedding so that they can bury themselves to hide. This species enjoys higher temperatures, so the use of a basking bulb or other heat lamp is recommended. Under tank heaters can also be used. It's recommended to use some source, uh, some type of heat source at night, as well if your temperature drops below the mid 70s. So a ceramic heat emitter might be a good idea. Because the species is very secretive, provide multiple heating, multiple hiding areas such as half logs, cork bark, driftwood, and caves. You'll also want tongs for feeding thawed prey. For food, rosy boas will eagerly eat a meal every five to seven days, as they are very voracious feeders. Juveniles will eat one or two thawed pinkies or fuzzies. Large adults can be fed one or two thawed adult mice every 10 to 14 days. Do not feed your snake prey that is larger than the widest part of the snake. Shedding occurs every few weeks to months depending on the age of the snake. Avoid handling the snake during shedding as they are more likely to be aggressive during this time. All reptiles carry salmonella which can cause disease in humans. The young, elderly, and immunocompromised are most at risk. Always wash your hands after handling reptiles. New snakes should be examined by a veterinarian and have a fecal sample checked for parasites. They should have yearly physical exams and intestinal parasite exams after that.